So, Tom, did you manage to get all your reading done? Yes, Ben, I did. What about you, Jane? Me too, though it took much longer than I thought it would. Yeah, some of those dissertations are really long, aren't they? Mm. Mm. I'm not looking forward to having to write mine. Well, that's not till next year. So, shall we compare thoughts about our reading? Mm. Let's start with 20th century architecture. I thought it was pretty impressive. There was quite a bit of detail. Yeah, all very relevant. I enjoyed the pictures, the diagrams and photos. Mm, they were quite strange. Not what you'd expect to find in a dissertation, mm. but very helpful. Whereas sometimes I couldn't really follow the arguments. Yes, a bit of a mixed bag, really. While modern construction was very serious and thorough, wasn't it? Indeed. Actually, it was rather dense. I didn't find it particularly easy to read, either. The index was excellent, though, so I used that to guide me around. I still think it was a bit high level. I certainly wouldn't have wanted to try and cope with it in the first year. No. That's not who it's aimed at, of course. Mm. What about steel, glass and concrete? Not the world's most interesting title, of course. <laughs> Again, the index was helpful. Though I think we could have done with more photos. They weren't really enough to support what he was saying in places. Yeah. But what he was saying was easy to follow, wasn't it? He takes you through step by step. It was hard to believe it had been translated. It seemed very natural. Mm. Actually, it was better written than the next one, the space we make. But we're supposed to be thinking about architectural ideas, not being literary critics. <laughs> I like that one. Really? I just didn't think it covered the whole situation. Mm. It didn't put the question of housing into the context of the time. You mean how in the 50s economic austerity limited the finances available while a growing population needed housing quickly? Exactly. Again, I think you're asking too much of these dissertations. Mm, perhaps you're right. Well, I did like change and tradition anyway. Very focused. Yes, although I did think it was oddly arranged in some ways. When you went to the index to track something down, you couldn't necessarily find what you wanted. I know what you mean. But I have to say, I'd be very proud if I'd written any of these. True. <laughs> and you will next year. Now you have some time to look at questions 26 to 30. Now listen to the rest of the conversation and answer questions 26 to 30. Never mind next year. It's this year that's the problem. I'm never going to get this assignment done. Yes, you are. Come on, let's make a plan for you. Oh, please. I'm just not sure where to go from here. I could look at city plans, study the layout of housing developments. I think you need a closer focus. The approach to small houses won't necessarily tell you what you want to know. You'd be better to concentrate on large private houses. Study the drawings of those. OK. Though I don't know how much useful detail I'll be able to get from the kinds of plans that are easily available from that period. Mm, it's true. They can be limited. Mm. But what you could do as a next stage is go onto the web. There's loads of useful stuff there. More detailed plans, you mean? Well, I was thinking more of illustrations, that kind of thing. Do a search for window designs. I'm sure you'll find some good ones. Mm, I agree. And not just online. See what you do find there, and then, for your next step, check both campus libraries. I think you'll be able to get hold of books which will give you further information. And you need to know more about typical furniture of the time. This is all very helpful. Thanks, guys. I'm beginning to think I should be able to get something done for Dr Forbes after all. At least I can see I'll be in a position to tell him the section headings. Well, a bit more than that would be better. Put your outline plan together and give him that to look at. Hmm, yes. But I'll still need to keep reading, won't I? Yeah. <laughs> Once Dr Forbes has okayed what you've done at that point, you could then go and see Dr Gray. He's very approachable, and I'm sure he'd be happy to provide you with further references, and then you could take it from there. That'd be really useful. Well... Thanks again. Let me get you both another coffee.